50 career goals for her. She notched that again in the Louisville win. Talia Stoudy, Leah Godfrey, Lady Rouse, Samar Gidry, and Kayla White with seven career shutouts in goals. She picked up that seventh against Louisville. For the Blue Devils, in the black kits, black tops, black shorts, Duke blue above the numbers, outlined in white on the backs. They will start with the ball as Michelle Cooper will stand in the center circle, wait direction. Cooper joined by Maggie Graham, Emily Royce, and Olivia Meagle, Sophie Jones, Cat Raider, and we're off and going as Cooper triggers it in, and Virginia will control here, moving right to left as Duke has it in the offensive zone. Jenna Royce and Mackenzie plucked Delaney Graham, making her 91st straight start for the Blue Devils. Katie Groff, Maggie Graham also out there for the home team, Duke. Blue Devils controlling things on the onset here in the near touchline, now playing it back into the defensive side. Terrific move by Royson. She triggers out to Michelle Cooper. Leave it behind to at midfield, now to the far touchline. Duke controlling the pace early on. Far corner looking to Put a shot on goal from outside the scoring area. Great opportunity. And coming out of the goal is Kayla White, able to deflect that off her chest as she turns the Blue Devils aside in the opening minute. 60 degrees temperatures hovering around here at Koskinen Stadium today. Referee Rashawn Clark, assisted by Cameron Anthony Serbio and Benjamin Wooden. Virginia in the defensive third looking to clear. Ball rolling out towards the right side of the field and some more Gidry. Now Cooper has it for the Blue Devils. Scoring opportunity. Cooper, who is lethal, six points last time out. The win over NC State, two goals and two assists. Career high for a single game. The reigning National Player of the Week. Also ACC Player of the Week. Now Virginia possessing towards their attacking third for the first time. We have an illegal touch as the Blue Devils will have a free kick. Playing it back to goaltender Ruthie Jones. Now Virginia giving chase as Duke clears. It's Cat Raider with it. Nice outlet pass here on the near touch line. Delaney Graham approaching the goal area, puts one towards the center and tapped out of there by the Cavaliers. It'll remain with the Blue Devils, so throw in. Sophie Jones inserts that just in front of the goal area, deflected up and wide towards the near touchline. Graham has it again for the Blue Devils. With the right foot, that swipe by Jones. Hit off the Wahoos in Virginia, desperately looking for clearance. Tapped away and received by Claire Constant. That's Haley Hopkins, beg your pardon, for Virginia. A lot of chaos here as the Blue Devils have a terrific chance, but lifting it high over the top bar. Unable to convert, Mackenzie Pluck had a great look at it. Just couldn't put the shot on net. Goalkeeper Kayla White, goals against average, ranks 14th nationally, just .46 against her top goalkeeper in the ACC. And header from the Blue Devils will trickle out of bounds. We've played nearly four full minutes, opening half of this top four showdown between a couple of ACC heavyweights. Interesting outcome last night in Blacksburg. Third-ranked North Carolina fell to Virginia Tech 2-1. to one. It's intensifying what's at stake here as Tar Heels fall to the middle of the pack. It's Virginia Tech's first win over UNC since 2011, first top five win since 2013 when they knocked off then number one Virginia. Had an equalizer in the 72nd minute, game winner in the 84th. Hokies down the Tar Heels on Saturday night. No score here as the Blue Devils 
Attack left to right. Converging on Raider. And with the theft is the Cavaliers. Coming out of the scrum is Leah Godfrey. She takes it across the halfway line. We'll boot that forward, trying to connect with Rebecca Jarrett. That service trickles out towards the far left corner. And the Cavaliers maintain possession. A light rain beginning to fall in Durham. We were slotted for 30% chance of showers around 4 o'clock. It's decided to rear its head just tad early. Throw in comes inside the box. Tapped away by Hopkins. Uh, giving chase on the far side and an aggressive push out of bounds will play for the Blue Devils. Thrown in and received back by Mackenzie Pluck. Now Virginia with a turnover and a strike on that just beyond the outstretched hands of Ruthie Jones and harmlessly over the top of the crossbar. It's a fine scoring chance for Virginia off the Duke turnover. Alumni weekend for the Blue Devils kind of lost some of its luster with the game originally scheduled for Friday. Close to 100 alumni were slated to return, according to head coach Robbie Church. In our production call that we had a few days ago, he knew that they'd lose some of those because of Hurricane Ian. But still, more than 50 or so have turned out to Koskinen today. Homecoming weekend for the football team. Volleyball going on on campus. Here's an opportunity for the Cavaliers. Taking it left of the net inside the scoring area and a sliding tackle. Knocking it away, Delaney Graham. She's tied Tara Campbell with 91 career starts at Duke. Leah Godfrey over to take the corner for the Cavaliers. Blue Devil football team winning 38-17 over Virginia on Saturday night at Wallace Wade Stadium. Riley Leonard, three total TDs, two on the ground. It's Duke football improved to 4-1 on the year. Alexis Theo Red has it. Her service is right of the goal mouth. And beyond the end line, the Blue Devils will control. Ruthie Jones making her 52nd consecutive start in net for Robbie Church. Church assisted by Kieran Hall, Carla Overbeck, and Lane Davis, two-time ACC Coach of the Year. Michelle Cooper tracking for the Blue Devils and heads between the set of benches for both sides. Playing it in will be Alexa Spanstra. 96 career start today, just four away from Laurel Ivory all time. She'll receive the throw in from Gidry. Pinballs around towards center field, and the Blue Devils will collect. No score. Eight minutes gone by in the opening half in Durham. Fourth-ranked Duke hosting second-ranked Virginia. Jenna Royson with the Blue Devils. Angles it forward off the foot of Graham and back to the Cavaliers. Right foot pass from Talia Stoudy. Cycling at midfield. For Charlotte, losing the handle is Godfrey. Cavaliers won the last meeting between these two in Charlottesville, one nothing. Lead the all-time series, 2016 and nine. It's the 46th meeting between the Cavaliers and the Blue Devils. Duke swipes it off the Virginia throw in, Katie Groff. I believe Royson, that's taken away. And Charlotte attacking now into their offensive third. 
That one is turned aside at the end line. Haley Hopkins was hunting for the back of the net. Graduate forward out of Newport Beach, California. 16 of a team high, 40 shots have been on goal entering this contest. Will result in a UVA corner. Be their 81st of the season. Opponents have registered just 19. Duke has recorded 49 corners to 26 by their opponents. Here's the entry attempt, and that is turned away. Ruthie Jones able to elevate, maybe get a hand on that. The bodies converged inside the scoring area. About 25 yards out, that kick is tapped up into the air and controlled now by the Blue Devils. No, Virginia gets it back. Left foot pass, terrific one. Here's a service that's headed off by the Blue Devils. As they try to stem momentum here, the Cavaliers possessing. Long strike into the arms of Ruthie Jones. First team all ACC a year ago. Blue Devil head coach Robbie Church talked about Michelle Cooper, his sensational sophomore. You can't talk about her enough, but every time you do, it, the question becomes, as Cooper takes a spill, she was hit hard from behind, and she is in significant pain. Play continues as she wobbles to her feet. ACC Freshman of the Year a year ago, all ACC, again, national player. Of the week, nine goals, five assists, 23 points for her. 14 of her 21 career goals have come at home, and she's had at least one point in 20 of 27 career matches. But when Duke played North Carolina, a 3-0 defeat back on September 8th, a non-conference game, they neutralized her by sending a second and sometimes even third defender to Cooper every time she possessed the ball. Would other teams be able to follow suit? Church said, that recently over this three-match winning streak, they haven't played teams that were capable of defending at such a level. And he was just looking so forward to playing Virginia, again, serving as another measuring stick for his squad and how much they have grown in coming to the aid of Cooper. When you have a star like Michelle who takes that throw in there, hits it with the left foot over towards her teammate Katie Groff. You don't want to be one-dimensional. You need other pieces to step up so the remaining players aren't leaning on your star. Off the right foot and tapped away. Virginia possessing still in the attacking third. Knocked away by Spanstra. She sends it to the point. Sliding tackle. Terrific stop by Katie Groff. Hopkins has it on the right side. Last touch by the Cavaliers, and the Blue Devils will put it in. Just under 32 minutes to go in the first half. Delaney Graham. Pitch and catch with Royson. Far side pass by Groff, and now Virginia with the steal. Groff, though, able to pump it out of bounds. Cavaliers will have a throw in. Duke has put two shots on goal, one for Virginia, save a piece. Cavaliers own the only two corners in the contest. Mackenzie Pluck and Michelle Cooper have each of the shots on goal for the Blue Devils. Here's Cat Raider, right side, looking to line one up. Nice pass over to Cooper. Has it at the right elbow. Cooper with the left foot. 
Beautiful falling save, though, made by Kayla White as she denies Duke's top scorer, Michelle Cooper, with almost 15 minutes gone by in the first half. Score remains nil-nil. Stoudy leaves it off to Constant. Jarrett with some nifty moves, but then overshot her teammate, Gidry. Delaney Graham will put it in. Third team all ACC a season ago. A traffic in front of the touchline, and Virginia rips back possession. Here's Stoudy. Godfrey now streaking forward to midfield. It's Maggie Cagill across the center, and we've got a foul. Extending beyond the left side of the circle. And a yellow card is going to be assessed. It's going to be on Maggie Graham, junior midfielder from Atlanta. In a free kick. Cavaliers Stouty will put it in. And Ruthie Jones is there. You can see Haley Hopkins with 17 on her back, the leading goal scorer. Eight goals, one assist, 17 points. Yeah, eighth nationally with those eight goals. She was lurking near the left corner of the goal area inside the box. Duke has possession, though. 29 minutes remaining in the first half. No score. Fourth-ranked Blue Devils facing a number two national team for the third time this season. Losing to UCLA in North Carolina. Could today be the day where they come through? Here's the centering pass in front of the Nets. And it goes by. Second effort. Easy save for Kaylee White. Cat Raider and a tremendous service. Dangerous from a Virginia perspective. They're able to narrowly escape that chance for the Blue Devils. Hopkins getting tangled up. Royson jetting towards the halfway line. Pass ahead, kicked free. And towards the scoring third for Virginia, Hopkins couldn't corral. And Ruthie Jones will kick it out of play. Virginia will throw it in. Blue Devils played the top non-conference schedule nationally. Number eight rated strength of schedule overall. It's their toughest test yet. Just one after another. They've won three matches in a row after the loss to Carolina. Virginia is in search of a second straight win. Rebecca Jarrett over on the far side. Set piece put inside the box. Turning, looking for clearance is Maggie Cagle, and that one goes high. Cagle entered 7 of 13 with her shots on goal, tied for the lead nationally in game-winning assists with five. 23rd nationally in assists per game. Third in the ACC. She wasn't shy in putting that on net. As she had a good chance inside the box. Blue Devils. Possessing, it's Royson, up head to Cooper, who touches it to Raider. 
Raider chatting alongside the near line. Cooper has it inside the box, right corner with the right foot. Through the zone, nobody home though as it goes wide of the framework, left side. Another terrific scoring chance. Angie Graham was in the area. We will have the first corner of the afternoon for Duke. Two of their three shots have gone on goal. Virginia has let yet to land one. Here's the corner opportunity. Wide right. Virginia escapes that chance. Nearly 20 minutes have elapsed in this first half from Durham. Kayla White puts it in off the head of Hopkins. And Royson puts it out of play in the bleachers right side. Steve Swanson assisted by Ron Rabb, Sam Raper. Lizzie Siraki, three-time ACC Coach of the Year in his 33rd year overall as a head coach. He's at Dartmouth and Stanford previously, 23rd season at Virginia. There's a wild attempt that bounces back behind the net. No damage done. Swanson is the ninth head coach to record 400-plus Division I wins. Multiple ACC regular season championships between these two head coaches. College Cup appearances. Two powerhouse programs going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. In the 21st minute, White able to put her right foot into there to pause the surge from the Blue Devil. Attack, here's Cooper with the deke, and she'll let it go out of bounds behind her, beyond the touch line. Graduate midfielder Delaney Graham from Atlanta has three assists on the season. She throws it in. Cooper taking the double team. Jockeying for position, Sophie Jones. Cooper there, there's a header that goes left of the net. And Kayla White will be able to cue it in. Duke's eight straight wins in ACC regular season play, dating back to last year. Their longest such streak since they won 10 in a row in 2017. Also gone 410 plus minutes. Counting today, that's 433 plus minutes without allowing a goal at home in ACC regular season play. Working with the same starting lineup too for the third consecutive match. That after Robbie Church used a different combination over the first eight contests. Nice takeaway by the Blue Devils. Racing after and getting hit hard, spilling to the deck, down in pain for the Blue Devils is Mackenzie Pluck. She's slow to her feet. She's got clotheslined, hung out to dry. Virginia now attacking into the scoring area. Tapping it back in is Royson. Maggie Cagle. Hopkins, all significant threats for the Cavaliers. Godfrey. Spanstra loses it and it comes back out towards midfield. Cavaliers attacking, heading towards the end line, diving attempt to stop by Ruthie Jones as she closed off the right side of the piping. And it sailed behind the goal over the end line. 
and it'll be a goal kick. Just over 21 minutes remaining in the first half. No score. Fourth-ranked Duke, second-ranked Virginia. Eight of Duke's 11 goals at home. Five matches this year have all come in the first half. Seven different players have scored through 10 matches. Got a stall made here. Nil-nil. Almost 25 minutes played. Nice battle here between Cooper and Guidry. Cooper cannot win possession. Here's Sophie Jones. Redirects behind her to Graham. Graham reversing course, heading towards her defensive third. The ball is possessed in the back line of the Blue Devils. Royson, junior defender, starting her 45th game in 50 career matches, athletic defender. She's at the controls, certainly capable of breaking through the defense herself, leaves a long pass ahead to Delaney Graham. And leads her too far. Cavaliers have yet to put a shot on goal. They've had two attempts, two saves to Kayla White. Two of Duke's four have been on net. Plus one in corners for Virginia at 2-1. Up the center of the seam is the Blue Devils. Here's Cooper as we have a Cavalier player down and in pain. That's Rebecca Jarrett. Graham has it. Right of the box, great set piece inside, but Cat Raider cannot steer it appropriately towards Kayla White as Rebecca Jarrett continues to deal with some significant pain to her right leg. Training staff is out for the Cavaliers. So we have a brief stoppage. Clock reads 19.09. Jared is continuing to be tended to. Blue Devils are 51 9 and 7 at Koskinen Stadium since the start of the 2017 campaign. Again, the preseason pick to win the ACC. Virginia falling right behind the Blue Devils. And as mentioned at the top of the broadcast, a stunning defeat for third-ranked North Carolina on Saturday night. 2-1 to Virginia Tech. Tar Heels fall back to the middle of the ACC standings. Duke is one of three undefeated league teams entering today. Pitt and Florida State both at 4-0. The Blue Devils at 3-0. Pitt 11 and 1 overall, 8 0 and 2 for FSU. And Virginia Tech now ahead of Virginia with a 3 and 1 league mark for the time being. Duke at 3 and 0. Notre Dame 2 and 2, NC State 2 and 2, Syracuse, Wake Forest each 1 and 2 in the Atlantic Coast Conference. Louisville and Clemson are each 1 and 3. Miami and Boston College each winless in the league at 0-4. As Rebecca Jarrett comes to her feet, unable to put much pressure on that right leg as she's being helped off. Head coach Steve Swanson is out there aiding the head trainer for the Cavaliers. Entering the game for Virginia, number 14, Emma Dawson.
Round of applause continuing to be delivered for Jarrett. Emma Dawson, the senior midfielder, replaces Jarrett. Two goals and assists to her ledger. Senior out of Richardson, Texas at 5'8", and a goal and assist against Oregon State this season. Kayla White will hammer that towards center field. Blue Devils control, tacking left to right. Cooper gets rid of a nice one ahead to Cat Raider. Raider trying to break down her man. Leaves it back behind. Pass intercepted, though, by the Cavaliers. And here comes Virginia and Haley Hopkins. Hopkins trying to slither through the Blue Devil defense. And we have a stoppage. Might be another foul assessed to the Blue Devils. It is. Duke Yellow card that's going to be tabbed at Emily Royson. Junior defender out of Toms River, New Jersey. Robbie Church trying to get her more time at a wing back spot. But having to defend primarily here through the first half of the season. Cavaliers' Leah Godfrey will cue it in, hit the game winner at North Carolina in the ACC opener. Preseason all-ACC selection. Uh, instead, she'll leave it off. She'll receive. So that's put in quickly ahead. Collision in front of the scoring area inside the box. And down in significant pain is Michelle Cooper. She tries to lift herself back up. On a baited breast there as... One of the country's best players hops back to her feet. She was holding her right foot initially. Certainly a special player is Cooper. She remains on the field, and here come the Blue Devils. Graham playing it back to Royson. Forward to Cooper. Receives in traffic, and Cooper now pleading with the referee. Rashawn Clark, who made a ruling that at least benefited possession of the Blue Devils, but not something that Robbie Church and company particularly liked. They wanted more because of the contact right in front of the benches, too, in the near touchline. 28 minutes played in the opening half. Still no score. Virginia and Duke. Cavaliers with a takeaway. Head full of steam. It's Godfrey. Ahead now to Hopkins. She leaves it, and it's a goal for Leah Godfrey. Finding the back of the net. A terrific pitch and catch. A one-timer. And Virginia... Virginia Finds the net first. They go ahead 1-0 on the Blue, Blue Devils. It was Hopkins to Godfrey, back to Hopkins. And then Godfrey delivers in the back of the net, her fifth of the season. On the Herman Trophy watch list for the highest individual honor nationally for a third straight year. And she delivers. Big time goal for the Cavaliers and can the Blue Devils answer now. It's the first goal that they have allowed In quite some time since the Carolina loss, three consecutive shutouts, a lot of contact, some vicious back and forth on Cooper as she is getting banged physically. Reminiscent of the way North Carolina had played her in that 3-0 defeat earlier this season. So 
with a goal from Godfrey comes in the 27th minute. Here's a free kick put in by the Blue Devils. Cavaliers looking to cut off and seal out that attempt. They're able to do so as it goes beyond the touchline. Duke will trigger it in in the form of Delaney Graham. Blue Devils went 437 minutes without allowing a goal at home in ACC regular season play before that Godfrey goal just a moment ago. one nothing Virginia over Duke. Blue Devils looking for the equalizer. Emily Royson, Jenna Royson, both back there. Throw in coming for Duke. Duke substitutions into the game. Number eight, L. Piper. And number nine, Grace Watkins. L. Piper and Grace Watkins are both entering for the Blue Devils as Robbie Church makes a pair of substitutions. Olivia Migley and Mackenzie Pluck both exit. Comes with less than 15 minutes remaining in the opening half. Cooper was chasing Stoudy at the halfway line. Set piece. Blue Devils, dangerous position here, nearly an own goal. As the Cavaliers are ratcheting up the pressure on the attacking end. Bit of sloppiness seeping in on the defensive end for the Blue Devils as they were unable to clear. Virginia corner A kick. corner kick. Leah Godfrey to take it. Godfrey, the goal scorer. Hammers that one towards the mouth of the goal. Goes off a Duke defender. Put back in by Virginia's Laney Rouse. Well over the top of the frame. The Blue Devils Blue will Devil put it back in. Another sub Bailey coming. Brewster. Bailey Brewster. Made her first start of the season Best against Virginia ECU and played 45 Virginia. minutes. Number 15 recruit overall in last year's signing class. Eighth-rated defender. She possesses. Toes it with the right foot. Over to Emily Royson, who gets it back. Streaking down the far side with the Blue Devils was L. Piper. Approaching the box, shot on net, coming out like a cat. Making the stop was Kayla White as she sprawled on her belly. Preventing any sort of a rebound, trapping the ball on the turf. White pumps that one, Blue Devils. Possessing now, it's Cooper with the right foot over to Graham. Pink-footed Graham puts it towards the mouth of the goal. Pass to Diving White. She got caught out of position. But the Blue Devil attempt from a Piper sails wide right. A little too much loft, not enough, enough zip on that attempt. from Piper. Close to 34 minutes played in the first half. Second ranked Virginia on top of fourth ranked Duke. One nil. A lot of contact. And a foul is called against the Cavaliers. As Sophie Jones took the brunt. 
of that contact. Brewster has it along the back line for the Blue Devils. Plays it back to Royson. Royson, a little bit of hesitation. She tries to steer around Haley Hopkins. And Delaney Graham has it on the near side. Able to connect. Raider cycling behind Graham, tapped out of play. Graham will put it in, Raider in. Jones, both awaiting the throw in. Cooper comes to get it just inside the box, right side though. Turns, curls, and fires it off the body of a Cavalier defender. And a corner kick coming for Duke. Substitution number 16, Karina Laguerre. Karina Laguerre checks in for Robbie Church. Grace Watkins will crank the Duke corner. Line drive attempt goes off a couple of heads for the Cavaliers. Blue Devils maintain possession. It's Watkins on the right side of the box, and she's Shepard. Out of play, asking for help there as she had thought the Blue Devils should have another corner instead. The Cavaliers' suffocating defense is rewarded with possession. Now Robbie Church is asking to have a word with Rashawn Clark. as they discuss that last sequence. Blue Devils have allowed now 10 goals through 11 matches. It was nine through 10 coming in, only at five at this point a year ago, but again, playing the number one rated non-conference schedule. So that's put in by Kayla White, whose games. But number 22, Tennessee, a 3-2 win, 2-1 lost the third rated UCLA at home, win at number six TCU, and then the three nothing match against North Carolina that then went the way of the Tar Heels. It's that kind of schedule though that is gonna most prepare you for the gauntlet that is the ACC as they move closer to the ACC tournament and of course NCAA tournament play. Blue Devils were bounced in the second round last year. It's the third round 2020, fourth round in 20, fourth round in 2021, beg your pardon. Third in 2020 and the second round exit in 2019. Eight and a half to play the opening half. UVA one, Duke nothing. Claire Constant fires that ahead. Hopkins for Virginia. Now ahead to Spanstra. Spanstra looking to get past her defender just in front of the nets. And Brewster able to clear as she swipes it out towards the halfway line. Collecting is Stoudy for Virginia. Constant being harassed by the Cavaliers, losing possession is Virginia. Here comes Cat Raider and the Blue Devils. Raider looking to Michelle Cooper. Cooper gets thrown to the deck, just pushed down blatantly. And here comes the foul, a yellow card assessed to the Cavaliers. Hard to believe there'd be any argument from Tolia Stoudy. Seemed pretty direct from my vantage point here at midfield, certainly for the home crowd here at Koskinen. As the Blue Devils are gonna have their best shot yet at getting on the scoreboard. Sophie Jones will be the triggerman. 
Right of the box for this free kick. 7.35 remaining in the opening half. Duke down one nothing. And that entry pass turned aside and the Cavaliers dodge the bullet. Virginia will sub Brianna Jablonski. Next opportunity Steve Swanson gets. Throw in from Graham. Blue Devils and Cat Raider possessing. Graham back to Brewster. Emily Royson steering towards the left side of the halfway line. We're in the 38th minute. Cavaliers will have a corner. Be a Godfrey to take it. Here comes Jablonski for the Cavaliers. Brianna Jablonski on for the Cavaliers. Had a two-goal effort and assist off the bench against 23rd-ranked Memphis. A brace for the junior forward out of Centerport, New York. Exiting for Swanson is Alexis Spanstra. Here's the corner. Back to the point. Hit in again by the Cavaliers. Punched out of there by Duke. Sophie Jones trying to possess. She cannot. And the Cavaliers' Sarah Clark puts it towards the net. And there to collect is Ruthie Jones. Jones hasn't recorded a save yet today. It's only one of the five shots for Virginia has been on goal, and it found the back of the net. Leah Godfrey in the 27th minute lifted Virginia to this 1-0 lead. Royson over to Groff. Those two ping pong back and forth. Pass ahead to Piper. Operating towards midfield. Groff searching for clearance. There's a pass ahead. Kayla White will stop with her right foot. The netminder for the Cavaliers. She's made two saves. Second in the ACC in save percentage. 13 1 and 1 for her career. And goals against average, tops of the ACT and fourth nationally. L. Piper for the Blue Devils. Attempting to split the D. Virginia back on the attack. Lead pass ahead. Throw in for the Cavaliers. If you're curious, maybe still a Seven light mist falling. It was a light drizzle. Just as we got underway at 105 Eastern time today, but it has since subsided. Maybe some on and off misting here or there. Weren't expecting much rain until later on in the afternoon. Again, the effects and the path of Hurricane Ian from the weekend caused this game's postponement from Friday to Sunday. Pivotal ACC showdown between two of the league's best, two of the nation's best. Three and a half minutes remaining in the first half. Sarah Bruner struggling to keep possession. And a foul is going to be called against Cat Raider, who I think is going to be caught grabbing the jersey of Sarah Bruner. Might have been able to see her kit getting pulled away and expanding. Duke yellow card assessed to Cat Raider. So 
The Raider gets pegged with the yellow card. Her five goals tied for second among ACC freshmen on the defense now. Sophie Jones clears for the Blue Devils. Watkins up ahead to Michelle Cooper. Here comes the star sophomore for the Blue Devils. She's unable to maintain possession. As the Cavaliers poke it free, Cooper signals it back in. Delaney Graham has it for Duke. In the 43rd minute. Sophie Jones loses it out of play. Graham to throw in for Duke. Raider, Jones, Cooper all there. Cooper towards the centering Groff will leave behind. Defender Brewster all the way forward. Now Reuner. Her pass towards the center gets through and Virginia clears it across the halfway line. Two minutes left in the opening half. Four two the advantage in corners for Virginia. Five four in shots. Duke two one shots on goal. Three fouls apiece. Here's an opportunity for the Blue Devils. Shot on net, right side, steered away, losing the handle. Was White, but she got some help. And now an attempt back into the net and corralling it, leaping forward. And snuggling it close to her chest is Kayla White as she comes through big time. Sensational sequence from her. And to the help that she got on the first shot attempt from Sarah Bruner, who was able to come by and kick the one football minute, aside. It's emergency now from the Blue Devils. with under a minute to play in the first half. Graham finds a tight window for Cooper, who's able to draw the contact. There you're seeing that tenacious defensive effort from the Cavaliers. Three defenders converged on Cooper. Robbie Church said it earlier in the week to me. Virginia is just so good in both phases. It's not just defense. It's not just their offense. It's every area of this game. It's why they're the second-ranked team in the country. They scored 32 goals coming in, allowed just four. But high-powered offense six, and seven, six, five, a four, tenacious defense. Three, two, Here's the one, end of the first half. Zero. Final opportunity for the Blue Devils. Goes his side. And Virginia is out in front of Duke as we've reached the halftime interval at Koskinen Stadium. It is the second-ranked Cavaliers one and the fourth referee. And Haley Hopkins had the assist. It was a back-and-forth exchange where Hopkins put it beautifully in front, left of the cage, and Godfrey was able to put it in one time with the foot to deliver the Cavaliers this one nothing advantage. So how will Duke respond behind one nothing at a place that they've had so much success in, and that is home, Koskinen Stadium. They've been terrific in recent years at home, 51-9-7 since the start of the 2017 campaign. They're moving right to left as we again play here in the second half, touchdown out of bounds and will be played back in. The Blue Devils are seeking a fourth straight match as they've won three straight coming in. Again, the Cavaliers in search of a second straight win and to further take command of their positioning near the top of the ACC standings, FSU and Pittsburgh still undefeated in league play. Well, the corner kick right from the get-go for the Cavaliers as they attack on the right side of the field as you see it to open up things in the second half. Two elite coaches, and Steve Swanson and Robbie Church, two elite programs, Virginia and Duke. 
Cavaliers looking to tack on here. Scoring opportunity cleared away by the Blue Devils as the Cavaliers had brought the entire back line up, and Kayla White will come out to play it. She lost that high and deep towards the far left side corner. And it trickles out of bounds. It'll be a Blue Devil throw in. Forty-six meeting between these two. Virginia leads all time 2016-9. They won 1-0 last year in Charlottesville. Surprising result, too, in the ACC last night. North Carolina squandering a 1-0 halftime lead in Blacksburg, falling to Virginia Tech 2-1. So the Hokies have leapt over the Tar Heels. In that top third of the ACC standings. Pitt and Florida State each at 4-0, Duke at 3-0, and Virginia at 2-1. Virginia Tech ahead at 3-1. Just past the midway point of the season, ACC Women's Soccer Championships will get underway Sunday, October 3rd. Top six teams will advance, campus sites, and then championship setting will get moved to Cary, North Carolina, the Wake Med Soccer Park. Both these teams with healthy national championship aspirations. Robbie Church has led Duke to three college cups since taking over the women's soccer program in 2001. A pair of ACC regular season championships over his 21 seasons at the helm. 36 years overall, leading both the men and women. 463, 251, and 74. Three forty six, one eighty, and sixty nine in twenty seven years as the women's head coach in Durham. Theo Rett, Spanstra, Cagle, Constant, Jarrett, Hopkins, Stouty, Godfrey, Rouse, and Gidry were the starters for the Cavaliers. I don't trust we'll see Jared again in this second half for Steve Swanson. And she had to be helped off with a right leg injury in that first half. Hopkins controlling for Virginia, the lethal goal scorer, ranked eighth nationally with eight goals. She had the assist for Godfrey in the first half. That Virginia possession is wasted away, though. The Blue Devils will have the throw in on the far side. It's Cat Raider, Sophie Jones, Livia Migley, Emily Royson, Michelle Cooper, Maggie Graham, Katie Groff, Delaney Graham, Mackenzie Pluck, and Jenna Royson with the starties, starters for the Blue Devils. We're able to work in Bailey Brewster, L. Piper, Grace Watkins, along with Karina Laguerre in the first half of action. Hopkins possessing for the Cavaliers, engaging and turning it away out of play are the Blue Devils. Throw in comes. They're on the near touchline. Goes out of play. It'll be another Blue Devil throw in. So we've played almost five minutes in the second half. Olivia Migley, junior midfielder out of Haymarket, Virginia, puts it in. Kenzie Pluck gives forward, and now Cat Raider trying to chase it down into the goal scoring area inside the box and lift it away towards the Blue Devil bench area by the Cavalier defense. Here's Migley for Duke. Migley puts in. Katie Groff can't maintain it, but the Cavaliers deflect it out of play. Throw in comes for Maggie Graham. Graham now chasing as the Cavaliers come away with it. It's the goal scorer, Leah Godfrey. Far side, Alexa Spanstra. Spanstra patiently looking to get organized. Left side of the scoring box. Oh 
Laney Rouse for the Cavaliers. Gives a side to Cagle. Cagle has it ripped away. Sliding through the defense. Nearly able to peel away with McKenzie Pluck, and now we've got a whistle that will go against the Blue Devils. Cavaliers will have a free kick. Wahoos ahead, 1-0. Almost seven minutes gone by in the second half. Pick to finish second in the ACC in the preseason polls. We're the Cavaliers right behind the Blue Devils. Who are a number one seed in last year's NCAA tournament. Michelle Cooper, the star sophomore, streaking up the center of the field. Leaves to her right, waiting for a pass back and instead was misled. The Cavaliers able to take it back and then twisting a lot of contact. Sophie Jones tied up with the Cavalier player Maggie Cagle just in front of the scoring box. I think that was a chance the Blue Devils would like to have back. As Cooper and Raider were unable to get on the same wavelength. And they'll have to start over as they're in their own defensive third. Punch forward by Chenna Royson. Out of play at the far halfway line. Lower 60s, mostly cloudy skies here at Koskinen Stadium for this ACC tilt. Again, originally scheduled for Friday, but because of the Hurricane Ian, so that one's put on net. Kayla White, Virginia goaltender. Turns it aside because of the effects from the storm and heavy rain and winds in the area on the front half of the weekend. Decision was made midday Thursday to move this contest to Sunday. And because of that, the Blue Devils were able to get an extra medium to plus day in training, according to Robbie Church. A 2-1-2 ACC model, two games, one week, one the next, two the week after that. This was their one game week. So they went harder in training on Thursday. Friday was a day off because of the weather. And then later Saturday, they were able to get in some light work. Head of the showdown with the Cavaliers here today. Alumni weekend, homecoming weekend on the campus of Duke University in Durham. Get volleyball going on. Duke football took down Virginia football 38-17 Saturday night. Kenzie Pluck was the intended target on that attack. The Cavaliers squashed that. Cooper with the high right kick trying to peel it away and lift it forward. She has it. Inside the center circle. Head with the left foot, gets it right back. Cooper now trying to beat her defender, Laney Rouse. To the left edge of the box. Cooper will slow with her back to the goal. Olivia Migley over to Groff. Groff splitting the D. Nobody home as Cooper had drifted back towards the touchline. Duke maintains possession. More than 10 minutes gone by in the second half. Trailing 1-0. Cooper hammers a pass to the right side of the box. Cat Raider having to give chase. She's on her high horse. She can't get there. As the Cavaliers will have a goal kick. Five shots apiece, just one on goal for Virginia. And it found the back of the net in the 27th minute. Leah Godfrey, assisted by Haley Hopkins.
Three of Duke's five shots have found the goal. Three saves for Kayla White. Seeking an eighth career shutout. And back-to-back -back after a 2-0 win over Louisville a week ago. Oh, here's the chance for Duke. Off the turnover. It's Raider knifing ahead. Over to Groff. Groff loses it. And it's kicked free. And now Virginia has a chance at the other end. Up ahead. An opportunity here by Hopkins. And she can't get it away. The Blue Devils defense is swarming. Hopkins falls to the turf. Play continues on. Seemed like Hopkins maybe was doing a little too much dribbling instead of just pulling the trigger and firing at the net. It allowed time for the Duke defense to converge and bother her inside the box. Ball blasted. Out of play by Claire Constant. Constant played in Haiti in the CONCACAF Championships. Fifth year defender at Alexandria, Virginia. Jenna Royson plays it back. Katie Groff has it. Just beyond the ACC logo in the defensive third. Michelle Cooper in the pass a little too far. She's looking to line up Migley. Migley puts it in but goes right off the body of Maggie Cagle. Playing that right midfielder position for Steve Swanson today. Swanson has led his teams to six conference championships, 27 NCAA tournament appearances, and 31 consecutive winning seasons during his 32-year head coaching career. To the game's finest, Steve Swanson and Robbie Church. Going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, exchanging blow for blow are their two respective teams. This 2-4 matchup. So far, it's been the Cavaliers with the upper hand. Looking for more. That ball put on that. Ruthie Jones... Hand delivers a pass to the right side. Royson to Royson connection, and now directing it forward. As Groff goes out of play, the Blue Devils now on the attack. Mackenzie Pluck can't find the clearance she needs. Cooper in defense, forcing Stouty to pump that one towards the halfway line, the Blue Devils controlling defensively. They'll play it back to their junior netminder, Ruthie Jones. Making her 52nd straight start today. Tireless worker, according to her, her head coach, Robbie Jones. Robbie Church, beg your pardon. Played in by the Cavaliers. Long crossing pass finds its way to Maggie Cagle. Cagle leads behind to Rouse. Now constant forward to Rouse. She uncorks a long pass forward to Haley Hopkins. Hopkins has it taken away by Royson. And Groff will kick that towards midfield.
16 minutes have elapsed in the second half. Virginia is still ahead, 1-0 on the Blue Devils. That pass bounces into the first row of seats here at Koskinen. Virginia substitution number 15, Brianna Jablowski. Jablonski comes back in for Steve Swanson, number 15. Junior forward. Streaking up the center of the field is Samar Gidry. Contact is drawn as she runs into a wall and stoppage in time is a violation against the Blue Devils. Free kick coming for Virginia. He brought up. Third-ranked North Carolina's stunning defeat at Virginia Tech last night. Virginia had a historic comeback at number two UNC at the time, down 2 nothing at halftime. They rallied for three goals in an 18-minute span to win in regulation. First team to accomplish that against UNC ever, down 2 nothing at the halftime interval to come back and win. Free kick going to be taken by Alexis Theoret from the point. She deeks. Godfrey will put it on net. Left side. The save is made by Ruthie Jones. We're in the 63rd minute overall. Blue Devils searching for the equalizer. Alexa Spantra will hand aside to her teammate. Samar Gidry, the junior defender, will throw in. Haley Hopkins controlling on the far side. Gidry gets it back. We'll put it all the way back into possession of Claire Constant, the defender. And the Blue Devils swipe it away. Michelle Cooper. Can't connect on that entry pass. Sliding attempt to steer it back into play. Goes over the touchline. Cooper tracking. Trying to force a turnover. Cavaliers wisely will play back into their netminder, Kayla White. And the Cavs will reset, moving left to right, operating with a 1-0 advantage. Stepping forward, forcing near change in possession was Jenna Royson. Cooper, nine goals on the season, 14 of her 21 for her career of come at home. She's got 20 career points, or at least one point in 20 of 27 career matches. Reigning National Player of the Week has been silenced thus far, similar to what in the style, the aggression defensively that was placed on her in a 3-0 loss to North Carolina just a few weeks ago. Cooper, the United Soccer Coaches National Player of the Week, Top Drawer Soccer National Player of the Week, College Soccer News National Player of the Week, ACC Offensive Player of the Week, Student Athlete of the Week for Duke. All after her career best six point effort, two goals, two assists, and a 6 0 win over NC State the last time out. That was a week ago in Raleigh. 20 plus minutes gone by in the second half. Duke, though, still behind 1 0. Oh, pushed hard to the ground. That's going to be a foul. On the Cavaliers, on Brianna Jablonski, the substitution for Steve Swanson. Sophie Jones will cue in the free kick. Jones stings that one towards the scoring box. 
tapped away, and the Blue Devils maintain possession. They'll have to start from the halfway line. That pass popped out and controlled by the Cavaliers on the far side of the field. Entry pass a little too far, leading Haley Hopkins, who assisted on Leah Godfrey's goal, the lone goal in this contest in the 27th minute. 50 career goals for Hopkins. She eclipsed that mark in the 2-0 win over Louisville. Blue Devils with a scoring opportunity. Inside the scoring box, what a save by Kayla White. As White turns back, the Blue Devil effort, scoring chance from Maggie Graham, turned aside by White. It's her fourth save of the contest, preserving a 1-0 advantage for the Wahoos. Here's Cat Raider inside. Another attempt just left of a diving White. Beyond the framework. Oh, a couple of golden opportunities, both from Maggie Graham, and she just could not find Blue the back of the corner. net. Over to take it, Mackenzie Tip Blunt. of the cap, though, to Kayla White. That one was steered just wide of her, but the save on the initial attempt from Graham was spectacular. Here's the corner opportunity for the Blue Devils. And it goes beyond the end line. A goal kick coming up for Virginia. As they survive yet another Virginia substitution, Maggie Cagle returns to the game. Scoring threat from Duke. You can really sense that the Blue Devils are turning up the offensive pressure. Searching, scratching, clawing for that equalizer to bring this game back even. Duke at 8-2-0, 3-0-0 in the ACC. Virginia 9-1-1, 2-1-0 in league play. White smashes that towards the halfway line. Bat it back, though, into the scoring third for the Blue Devils. Then steered aside and out of play. A throw in coming for Duke. Quickly put in by Delaney Graham, and she'll have to do it again. About 21 minutes to go in this contest. Next throw in comes from Michelle Cooper. And the Cavaliers, Haley Hopkins will clear it. Approaching the 70th minute in Durham. The home team and fourth-ranked Duke Blue Devils on the ropes. Trailing second-ranked Virginia 1-0. Jabloniski had trouble possessing, and it results in the Cavaliers turning possession over to the Blue Devils. Here's Mackenzie Pluck. She'll take it in off the throw in from Migley. It was a poor attempt from Migley, though, as the Cavaliers are right back on the offense. Nice challenge from Mackenzie Pluck, the midfielder from North Wales, Pennsylvania. 21 goals in her career, six game winners. 27 career assists, fifth on the Duke all-time career list. Maggie Cagle into the game. So we've got a whistle against the Blue Devils, much to the chagrin of the Koskinen faithful. 
Sarah Clark just subbed in for Steve Swanson, taking the place of Samar Guidry in the 70th minute. UVA ahead 1-0. The Wahoos with a free kick. Sarah Clark, who just entered the match, will put it in. Michelle Cooper is there. She heads it. We've got a whistle away from it. The Blue Devils will kindly go right back to work. Delaney Graham having trouble as defending in the far corner. It's Alexa Spanstra. Graham with the overhead toss. Two hands held high, ball sandwiched between the palms. She'll bounce it in front of her to her left. And the Blue Devils trying to get organized towards the halfway line. Nice give to Migley. Migley gets it back. Pluck was there on the pass. Maggie Graham anchoring the back line. Sophie Jones behind her to Groff. Now it's Pluck working left of the box. Nice footwork nearing the end line. The ball goes off a of Cavalier and then off Pluck and out of play. Smothering defensive effort from Sarah Clark. Also defending was Brianna Jablonski. Goal kick coming up for Kayla White. The top net binders in the country, and she's shown you why here this afternoon. In search of an eighth career shutout. Under 17 to play. Virginia has scored 698 goals since 2011. That's the most nationally. Behind them is Stanford. It's more than 30 goals behind them. A prolific scoring offense under the tutelage of Steve Swanson in Charlottesville. And they have the only goal that matters to this point. As we near the 74th minute, second-ranked Cavaliers in charge, 1-0 over fourth-ranked Duke. Hopkins. Outlets to Clark. Theoret. Over to Rouse. And the Blue Devils. Muscle it away. Sophie Jones with the right foot plays behind. Oh, nearly. Too softly as lurking was Haley Hopkins. Whistle benefits Duke, free kick coming. We get closer to the 75th minute. Migley for the Blue Devils. Being finessed by Bruner of the Cavaliers. Taken away by the Wahoos. Uncorking one. To Hopkins. Hopkins lead pass ahead to a jetting Cagle. Cagle firing that one in the direction of the box. And sprawling out is Ruthie Jones to protect and preserve this 1-0 Duke deficit under 15 to play. Gut check time for the Blue Devils. Five of their seven shots on goal. Only two of six for Virginia. Virginia with a 5-3 corners advantage. Each team has been whistled offsides one time. 
Five saves for Kayla White, one for Ruthie Jones. Michelle Cooper, her pass. Didn't have enough zip on it, but Sophie Jones controls for the Blue Devils. Hopkins steals the ball from Duke. Theo Rett working around Cooper. Cooper trying to jet in there and create a scoring opportunity for herself. She's been completely neutralized this afternoon by this Cavaliers defense. Virginia looking to double the advantage. Laney Rouse over to Hopkins. Right side of the box. Bruner. Bruner puts it in towards the scoring area and turned aside in front of the net. Jenna Royson and company. All helping to protect the goal area in front of Ruthie Jones, who will be tested again with a Cavalier corner kick. They're sixth. And Michelle Cooper is in a lot of pain as she exits the contest. Her afternoon likely done, so the star and leading goal scorer, reigning National Player of the Week, on her back at the end of the Duke bench. Being worked on by Christy Hall, the associate athletic trainer for the Blue Devils, and that's the absolute last thing you want to see and contend with from a Blue Devil perspective as one of the nation's best, most exciting players exiting with an injury in the 76th minute of a 1-0 game, you trail. Goal kick coming for Ruthie Jones. Grace Watkins had entered for Michelle Cooper. Returning for the Blue Devils, Elle Piper. And Karina Laguerre. Karina Laguerre and Elle Piper both back into the match. For Robbie Church. Returning for Virginia, Leah Godfrey. Leah Godfrey re enters for the Cavaliers. Has the lone goal of the contest in the 27th minute. One timer effort. Back and forth sequence between her and leading goal scorer, Haley Hopkins. Hopkins had the dime and it has UVA in front with 12 20 to play in the contest. The line for Michelle Cooper today, two shots on goal. She did commit one foul in 77 minutes of action. Coming off that six-point effort and a 6-0 win over NC State. Held mightily in check by this tenacious UVA defense this afternoon, protecting a 1-0 lead. Duke. Looking for the tie. Cat Raider giving chase, can't get there. Before it's turned aside and out of play by Tolia Stoudy. Stoudy assisted on Hopkins' 50th career goal against Louisville. Defensive player of the week a month ago. Tight action on the end line remains with the Blue Devils. Laney Graham triggers Royson over to Emily Royson. L. Piper looking for the shake and bank. Now it's Karina Laguer. Piper looking to put it between the pipes. Here's Sophie Jones out ahead. Delaney Graham contending, trying to preserve possession here. 
on the Duke offensive side of the field. Trying to put anchor down in the attacking third. Piper loses that one. And now Kayla White coming all the way out of the mouth of the goal in dismissing any opportunity from Mackenzie Pluck, who was in the scoring area. Kind of an errant pass that wiggled free. And Kayla White smartly you can see why she's one of the top netminders in the country. She's able to exit the net and make those kind of stoppages. Under 10 to play in the ball game. Graham on the far side. Graham splits the D. Cat Raider can't get there inside the box. See if Duke can find one set piece that can potentially bring this game even. Duke corner, Grace Watkins. Grace Watkins it. will have the honors of this latest Duke corner kick. It'll be their fourth low liner. Nothing doing as it curls away from the scoring box and beyond the end line. So a failed effort on the corner for the Blue Devils. Eighty-first minute, Virginia ahead one nil. Piper chasing. Here's a nice set piece ahead to Raider. Raider gets past White, but can't get anything behind the shot. And the Blue Devils, though, maintain possession. Here's another chance. Piper into the box. And the Cavaliers are able to thwart that effort. Oh, a couple of ideal chances for the Blue Devils. The first, though, from Raider. She put so much effort into the shake and bake past her defender that she just could not get any power with her left foot. And with Kayla White exiting the mouth of the goal, it was her teammates who were defending and helping to protect a second layer of defense, if you will, to turn away any opportunity of a goal being scored. Good news for the Blue Devils. As a chance coming for Virginia, but Ruthie Jones is up out of the net to pick it up off the dirt. Michelle Cooper is waiting to check back in for the Blue Devils. So the afternoon is not over for the reigning ACC Player of the Week. Freshman of the year from last season. Can she inject one more shot of adrenaline for this Blue Devil team down 1-0? Under seven to play. We're in the 83rd minute, and here comes Cooper. Blue Devil substitution, Michelle Cooper returns. First in the ACC in points per game, 2.56. Third in goals per game with one. First in shots per game at 4.67. And first in goals with nine. The dangerous Michelle Cooper back on the pitch for Robbie Church and the Blue Devils. Down 1-0. Haley Hopkins controlling on the far side. Time is the biggest ally for the Cavaliers at this juncture of the match. 5.50 clock winding. Blue Devils trying to avoid going to 0-3 against the number two team in the country at home this season.
who need a heroic effort down the stretch. The final five minutes and change still to come at Koskinen. Graham defending Spanstra. And Ruthie Jones will quickly put it in, the netminder for the Blue Devils. Duke faithful at Koskinen. Starting to make a little bit of more noise. So we're inside of five minutes to play in this match. Coming out of the frame for the Cavaliers, it's Godfrey. Sets aside to Cagle. Cagle will send it back in to Godfrey. Back to Cagle, but out of play. Duke throw in coming. Pluck plays it off her knee. Shin chasing his Maggie Graham. Now Cooper. Burst of speed across the halfway line. Can't get there, and the Cavaliers have it in their attacking third. Blue Devils D. Halts the surge. Emily Royson coming to converge with Cagle. Rouse throws in for the Wahoos. Cagle. Being worked on by Piper. Double comes. Rouse loses it. Blue Devils attempting to clear. Sophie Jones triggers out to Michelle Cooper. Cooper trying to find that next gear. A little bit of hesitation allows her to line up a teammate and Cat Raider. Raider knifing up the center of the field. Long lead pass to Delaney Graham on the far touch line. Graham, a set piece, looking for Cooper. Inside is plucked. The header, though, is saved by Kayla White. Oh, what another chance for the Blue Devils as Delaney Graham put that right on the money for a McKenzie pluck header. But again, just not enough velocity off the dome piece as White was able to read it like a book and record the sixth save of the match. 2.30 to play. Crunch time in Durham. Number two, Virginia. Ahead by one goal on fourth-ranked Duke. Punched ahead by Theo Rett. Godfrey. Hunting for another goal, potentially. Knocked away by Piper. Also there defensively, Laguerre, freshman midfielder for the Blue Devils, made her first college start at TCU, played 59 minutes in a defeat to UCLA. Hopkins can't handle the rock, and it goes out of play. Touched in by Duke, free kick coming. Under two minutes to play. We're in the 88th minute. Blue Devils needing one to tie. Cooper can't get there. Hit high into the air and then off Laguerre and out of play. Cavaliers' Laney Rouse, junior defender, will throw it in. Their first career goal against Fairley Dickinson earlier this season. Hopkins in heavy traffic. Loses the handle, but last touch by the Blue Devils. Coming up to one minute to play. Hopkins able to knife pass Laguerre. Right of the box. Royson tracking defensively. We're in the 89th minute in Durham. Cavaliers in search of a gigantic road win at the fourth ranked team in the country would only further bolster their own number two ranking and status near the top of the ACC. 30 seconds remaining. Time running on the Blue Devils. 
as they trail 1-0 in Virginia possessing. It's Haley Hopkins, the graduate forward out of Newport Beach, California. Now the ball squirts free to Ruthie Jones. Cranks one ahead on the ground to Sophie Jones. Jones surveying, ten, puts it ahead with the nine, right foot. Inside eight, of 10 seconds seven, to play, it goes out six, of bounds. Five, Over the touchline, Mackenzie Pluck three, couldn't get there. Two, Taking her time one, on the throw in is Laney Rouse. She puts it in, and that's all she wrote in Durham. Second-ranked Virginia comes to fourth-ranked Duke and notches a 1-0 ACC win. In a battle of two of the top four teams in women's soccer nationally, today belongs to the Wahoos. Virginia wins one.